You probably know this feeling. It's time to work on an important task such as studying for an exam or working for your business or writing a report for work. And instead of working, you say, let me just quickly check my phone. And that one quick check can turn into hours of scrolling. In today's video, we will be talking about why do we like to scroll so much from the point of view of neuroscience and what to do to break the scrolling pattern. More in today's video. Hi, I have a PhD in neuroscience and on the channel Neuroproductivity, we talk about developing healthy habits by using principles of neuroscience. In today's video, we'll be talking about why do we scroll so much and how to break the scrolling cycle. So why do we scroll so much? Social media managers knew about the dopamine in our brain and they knew that the dopamine is going to release with every new video. So basically what happens when you scroll on social media? With every new post, with every new short, with every new reel, you get dopamine released in your brain. And when dopamine is released in your brain, you feel a little bit happier. And when you feel happier, you want more of it. So that is why you keep scrolling, scrolling and scrolling. And you might think if dopamine makes me feel happier, why is it then bad to scroll? Because why not feeling happier? Well, what happens when dopamine keeps being released in our brain is that it's going to be depleted. So what usually happens when you're scrolling on social media, the dopamine goes quickly up, but then it crashes. And when dopamine crashes, when it's very low, when it's depleted, you basically have no motivation to do anything else. So you might even not have motivation to get up. That's why the bad rotting happens. You keep scrolling, the dopamine gets depleted and you have no motivation to get up. So now you understood that scrolling has a lot to do with the dopamine. So the more you scroll, the more your brain wants it. However, if you overdo it, the dopamine is going to crash and you're not going to have motivation to do anything else. Maybe not even get up. And of course, not working on an important task. 